Hey everyone, in honor of the Persian New Year, also known as Nowruz, I have decided to do a top five Persian cultural related videos. Nowruz, for those of you who don't know, is the first moment of spring, celebrated all over the world in places like Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, uh, a lot of other stans, uh, even in America, Istan. So let's get started with what I will call clip number five. This is called Middle Easterners Love to Dance. It's from my special called I Come in Peace, which was filmed in Sweden, also known as Swedenistan. Enjoy. Eugene, you notice how they all started clapping right there? You see how they all started clapping? See, we love, we love to celebrate life. We love to dance. We love to, a lot of people in the West don't know the people from that part of the world, Middle East, like to dance and laugh and celebrate. I saw, when I did the Axie Evil Comedy Tour, it came out on Comedy Central. I went online to see what people were saying about it. I ended up on the Sean Hannity website. It's a conservative website. One guy wrote another guy. He said, I never knew these people laughed. Because <laughs> think about it, you never see, you know, Middle Easterners laughing in American film or television, right? Maybe like an evil, like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I will kill you in the name of Allah. Oh. <laughs> but never like, ha, 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 We love to laugh, we love to dance. Oh my God. You saw, they just started clapping. If wherever we are, if we hear clapping, we, f we have to dance. <laughs> we could be on an airplane and the pilot has said, everyone fasten, we're about to land. Someone starts clapping, I have to dance, I can't. <laughs> He's clapping. Try it, next time you're landing, just start clapping. Some Middle Eastern guy will get up. <laughs> we love to dance. The US said they wanted to win the hearts and minds of the Middle East, so we attacked. We shouldn't have attacked. We should have sent over clapping troops. <laughs> just put them anywhere, there's any trouble, have them start clapping, the fighting will stop. <laughs> Sunnis and Shiites killing each other in Iraq, just go and clap, it'll stop. They'll be fighting, fighting, they hear the clapping. Uh, I have to dance, I kill you later, I kill you later. <laughs> I'm dancing, I can't kill you right now. I'm dancing. I'm... <laughs> Next week, I call you, then I kill you. I call you, you make me. <laughs> it's in the blood. Eugene, you ever been to one of our parties? You ever been to the Persian party? Okay, here's my advice to my... My, uh, my Swedish friends, my friends, my white friends. Oh, you, if, you've never, if you've never been to a Persian party, here's the advice. If you ever go and you don't want to dance, get out of the room. Because <laughs> they will track you down. <laughs> you could be hanging out in the corner and be like, oh, look, the Persians are dancing. Whatever, I'm just going to hang out, have a pistachio, relax. <laughs> look over at Eugene, Eugene, come on, Eugene, come on, come on. <laughs> No, I don't feel like it. Eugene, Eugene, I don't feel... And then they start a chant, which basically translates to Eugene must dance. Eugene must dance. Yeah, they go, Eugene Boyad Belaqse. Eugene Boyad Belaqse. Eugene ba Yeah, you see that? You see that? You see that? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make a point. They want you to dance right now. That's how pretty. Th there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look, beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yes. That's how we roll. Did you see he, he in the, it's with the clapping? You said you never danced, but you were dancing Persian. It's in the rhythm. You're like, oh my god. It's fun, man. We celebrate life. And it's not just us, the Arabs too. The Arabs, you guys celebrate too. If you ever, listen, if you ever go party with the Arabs, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rest your hands for like a month before you go. Cause the rest of the world, they clap like this, okay? The Arabs, they take all those years of fighting and oppression, being in the sun. Eugene, ready, ready, Habibi? Yeah, 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 yalla, 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 yalla. And you're gonna try and keep up, you'll be like, ow, this shit hurts, man. <laughs> How long is this song? <laughs> Till the sun comes up, Eugene. <laughs> the sun comes up. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed clip number five. Let's go to clip number four. This one is called Formal Iranian Greetings because that's how we are. We greet each other very formally, and you're about to see it. Uh, this was from my special, I'm not a terrorist, but I've played one on TV, which was filmed in Los Angeles. Enjoy. Oh man, it's good to be here. Let me hear the Persians. Persians in the house. Persians. <laughs> Non-Persians, non-Persians? All right. That's right. You're surrounded, but it's all good. <laughs> it's funny, because, you know, it's funny. What's funny, nobody knows how many Persians or Middle Easterners in general there are in America. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Because uh, we don't answer census bureaus. <laughs> yeah, the range is from 300,000 to 3 million. That's a wide range. Because if a random person calls our house and starts asking questions, we're afraid the FBI is showing up next. <laughs> right, when the Census Bureau calls up, you know, hello, sir, how many people live in your household? We're like, uh, zero. <laughs> What's your income? Zero. <laughs> how old are you? Zero. <laughs> Where are you from? I don't know. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> That's the other technique we have, is you answer a question with a question. Great technique. You guys, my American friends, use it. It works. Like last year, the president of Iran was doing an interview on 60 Minutes, and he used that technique. It was amazing. The interviewer asked him, he goes, so do you have a nuclear program? He goes, I don't know. Do you have a nuclear program? The reporter goes, everybody knows America has a nuclear program. He goes, does everybody know America has a nuclear program? <laughs> the guy got frustrated. He goes, okay, interview over. He goes, is this interview over? <laughs> We're vague. That's how we are. Because we don't want to be specific in any of our answers. Like, ask a Middle Easterner what they do for a living. You'll never get a straight answer. Ask a Persian dude what he does for a living. Be like, hey, what do you do for a living? They'll be like, me? For a living? <laughs> For the living me, for the living me, for living what I do for living me. <laughs> Import, export. Like, what do you import and export? This and that. <laughs> Where do you do it? Here and there. <laughs> Where are you from? Everywhere. I'm from everywhere. Where are you from, my friend? All right, we're moving fast. Up to number three. This next clip is from my Brown and Friendly special, which was filmed also in Los Angeles, actually North Hollywood. This one is called, How Many Iranians? Because the question is, how many Iranians are there in America. Let's find out. Oh, and then the Iranians. Where's my Iranians at? Where's my Iranians? At? Yes, 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 yes. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Kurosh, good to see you. Kurosh, good to see you. Hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hi. That's how we say hi. Alicia, hour and a half of bowing. Every time we see each other, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hi. Hour and a half. That's why the nuclear negotiations have been taking so long. Every time the Americans show up to negotiate, the Iranians, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hi. The Americans with a briefcase, are you ready to negotiate first? I want to say hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi. We've been negotiating for like third. When we started negotiating the nuclear thing, the Henry Kissinger was Secretary of State. They're still negotiating. Hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hi. Let's have some tea. Hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hi, hi. Our and it's a respect thing, right, Kurosh? It's respect. The more respect you have, the lower you go. Right? Oh, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hi, hi. Oh, you're a doctor. Oh, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, 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 hello, hi, hello, hi. Oh, you're a chiropractor? Okay, then hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, hi. <laughs> That's not really a doctor, okay? It's more of a glamorized masseuse, really. 
You write me prescription, handicap placket, please. Hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello, hi, hi. It's a respect thing. Persians, the Persians were very formal. We're a very formal culture. I'll tell you how, real, how I realized how formal we are, okay? This happened recently. I was at a Persian event and I was walking and there was this Persian lady standing there. I stepped on her toe accidentally. I said, I'm sorry. And she goes, no, please. My foot is too long. <laughs> she took the blame. <laughs> like, please, I should never have been here in the first place. Why did I come to America to be in front of you right now, Mars? <laughs> you step on an American toes. Hey, watch where you're going. The Persians, please, I, I never liked my toes in the first place. As soon as I go home, I'm going to cut them off. I swear to God. Please. <laughs> We're so formal, man. All right, this is very exciting. We're down to number two. This next clip I call... Immigrant rules versus American rules. This is for any immigrant who's come to America and they know what I'm talking about when we say immigrant parents do it differently than American parents. So let's watch it. This is from I'm Not a Terrorist, but I played one on TV, also filmed again in Los Angeles. Enjoy. It's funny, man. Who else here grew up with immigrant parents? Who else grew up with immigrant parents? There you go. There you go. Yeah. What, what, what's your background? What's your background? Co Korean and Danish? Wow, that's interesting. Who was the Korean? Who was the Dane? Mom's Korean, dad's the Dane. Fam. And what's your name? Nels. So the, the Dane won in that one. That's not a very Korean name, is it, Nels? <laughs> Nels, my God, that's awesome. You don't look like a Nels at all. The looks, you got more Korean look than the Danes. Yeah. You got freckles? Korean with freckles? Dude, that's some, that's some trippy shit. She says, let's see it. People, now, you, now, now you're a celebrity. Show us your freckles. The Persians, get up, show the freckles. <laughs> so Nels, uh, your, pa your, your parents, uh, did they come from where? They, from, they came from, uh, from, Korea, from, from Korea and Denmark and they met here. So th let me ask you a question. Did you find yourself explaining to them how America works as you grew up? Isn't that the, that's the, it's not just the language. It's also the system. Because there's a lot more rules in America than a lot of other places. Like where I come from, Iran, and there's a lot more rules. Like, for, like even like, like the movie rating system. Like back in Iran, there's no real, they don't really care with the ratings, whatever. They just go, no big deal. <laughs> like to this day, Nels, when I do a show at a comedy club, I'll say PG-13, 13 and older, because there might be some adult language, okay? And whenever I announce that, the Americans who've been here a long time will bring their 13-year-olds. The Middle Easterners bring their six-year-olds. No, I was doing a show. This Persian dude showed up with a six-year-old. I go, dude, what part of PG-13 don't you understand? There might be some cussing in the show. He goes, Maz, don't worry. I cuss at him all the time. <laughs> That's why I bring him, so you can cuss at him too. He is big disappointment. Six years old, not a doctor. Can you believe that? gonna send them back to Iran to a study <laughs> we don't understand movie ratings I came to America when I was six years old I came to America my, my parents didn't know what PG parental guidance meant my dad thought parental guidance that meant that you get to drop your kid off at the movie <laughs> and the movie will give him parental guidance for two hours <laughs> while you go shopping for furs and chandeliers <laughs> my dad what a great country just leave the kid and go fantastic very good Maybe we can find double feature. We can go buy more fares and chandeliers or something. They didn't know. I was, I was eight years old. They dropped me off at The Exorcist. They thought it was a movie about exercising. They came to get me. I was like, ah! My dad turned to my mom. These pussies are scared of exercising. Go back inside. Watch again. You keep watching till you're no longer scared of exercising. We are gonna go buy some more furs and chandeliers. And finally, drum roll please. Brrr. Clip number one for No Ruse 2018. This one, uh, since you hung out, since you watched these clips, I would like you to leave with 
a uh, little bit of knowledge. Uh, we started the first clip, clip number five, with uh, Middle Easterners Like to Dance. So let's end this series, clip number one, with How to Dance Like a True Persian. This is going to teach you. Enjoy it. It's from I'm Not a Terrorist, but I played one on TV. I'm not, not, not a terrorist, but I played one on TV. Okay. Bye. I'm going to show you how you dance Persian. It's very simple. All you got to do, you got to listen for the music. Listen for the music. When you hear it, your eyebrows start to dance. Your eyebrows start to dance. Your shoulders start to dance. Your shoulders start to dance. Then you get the hands in. Get the hands in. Screw the light bulb. Screw the light bulb. Screw the light bulb. Now move your body. Move your body. Move the hips. Move the hips. Here we go. Here we go. You dance a Persian. And the snap. It's a Persian snap. Persian snap. Persian snap. Persian snap. Variation. Variation. Variation on the snap. Variation. There you have it. Oh, oh. There you have it. Oh, oh, oh. That's the song. Listen. I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how it's done. All right? Follow me. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Nas Jabroni. Well, there you have it. Top five video countdown for No Ruse Persian New Year. No Ruse Piruz. Happy New Year. Happy No Ruse. And uh, don't forget to sign up on my channel. Just follow me. It's free. Just click the subscribe and you'll get new videos weekly. Uh, hope to see you here again. Be good.